Okay. My idea is on this, the P85. Okay, for some reason... Well, a lot of people blame this, like, socket. Let's see here. I can show you. This has got, like, a... See, it slides down, and then it ends up getting stuck in the socket. And I saw another guy on YouTube that he filed down these little parts that catch when it gets down in the socket. But that, I think, is only part of the problem because this brand new P85 that I got... Um, and this one, and I think a lot of them, I think I've actually straightened out a few. This part right here gets bent. And it will catch at any point along its route if it's bent. You can see if you see here. One of these sides, I know, was bent. I just straightened this one out a little bit, but it's still bent. See, you can see it's not totally straight. If this part is totally flat and straight, I really don't think that this thing is ever going to catch like they do. So you can see from this angle, see it's bent at the top. And um, actually, I mean, I think part of the beauty of the P85, if there is beauty, and many people don't think there is, <clears throat> is the fact that this thing is very lightly built. And um, so the Superphonic will resonate more because it's got the light aluminum shell, lightweight parts, pretty much. And the whole thing just works as a lightweight unit. But I've got my super light over here, which I really love these drums. They're actually pretty lightweight, and they're steel. But they have these lightweight lugs, lightweight brass lugs. But basically, every part of the P85, they fixed on this throw-off. Where it comes up and hits the top, click. I fixed this, and I really don't think I'm going to have any more major problems with it. Because it doesn't catch at all now. And part of the reason it catches is this knob here on top, which it would pretty much fit, fix the whole problem if this knob was just slightly bigger. Like this one is on the throw-off. I don't know what the name of this throw-off part is. But the pseudo P85 or the Asian-made P85 They've re-engineered re the whole thing, and there's no problems whatsoever with it. When it comes up and catches, bam, it hits this little rubber part, or not, you know, PVC, whatever it is, plastic part. So it doesn't smack that, really. And this thing... Sorry. Maybe I can edit that part. Probably not. Anyways, this thing here. Let me see. This thing, the screw. Now I got it stuck. Oops, dropped the spring. Fits in here. It's just a regular screw. You can just slide it all the way out. Unlike the P85 one, which gets stuck here. I got the broken part for the P85 here. Somewhere. Anyways. Um, they make it so it's part of the unit. Just to worry about it. We're worried about it falling out. I don't know why. Because, um, well, anyways, cause this knob is not going to go down all the way in the socket because it's too big. And um, so it just slides up and down on 
this one here, which is a little stiffer, so it doesn't move as smooth, which is, you know, pretty much a good thing in this instance. But, I mean, this throw-off is pretty much flawless, in my opinion. It works perfect. Um, like I said, uh, they pretty much fixed every part of the P85 that was flawed. And so, what was my point? That was my point, anyways. But, um... Yeah, if you're having a problem with your P85, oh, what I was going to point out is that this thing here is really much thicker than the P85 part, so it's just really just not going to bend. As long as they made it right, it's, you know, and it's straight, which is quality control. And it's not going to bend because it's too thick. The P85 one is very thin. And I'm pretty sure if you do fix it, if you do um, flatten out that part I was talking about, um, just using it, or if you bump it, you know, when you're moving it around, even in the case, the thing is going to bend again, possibly. But, yeah, I don't know what to say. There's really no way to keep that from getting bent again. But as long as you have it straight, and you know that's the problem. You can straighten it again. But, you know, therein lies the problem. It's lightweight, which is part of the method. But it gets bent and messed up. So, I guess if, unless you're going to make it out of titanium or something. I don't know. But, you know, but then it wouldn't be cheap either. And it is cheap to replace one. I guess, you know, at this time, maybe around 30 bucks. But, um, yeah, anyways. I mean, it works perfect now. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. It's, it, it's not catching it all. Because that runner's straight, and it's straight enough, so the head of the screw here hits it every time so it can't go down into that socket and get stuck or people get frustrated and they're like oh it's stuck it's stuck it's stuck oh god damn it. it's, it's just not going to get stuck when that head is hitting it. so people get pissed, pissed off a gig the thing gets stuck there because it was slightly bent Get all pissed off and bend this thing all around, and it's just a disaster. But you know, you're not going to be able to force it anyway, so there's no sense in getting mad. You just kind of wiggle it slowly and bring it back up. You're just going to make it worse if you're whacking on it, which is part of the problem. That's how it gets more messed up. I mean, it's a machine. Doesn't really good do good to get mad at it. Well, simple machine. Anyways, I like the P eighty five design. I know there's a lot of people that hate it. Um, when it's working, you know the way it should work, it's fine. There's some flaws about it, yeah, but. As long as it's working the way it's supposed to work, it's fine. Anyways, if anybody watches this video, um, that's my opinion on it. So, yeah. You have yourself a good one. Enjoy your Superphonic with a P85 or with a Millennium Strainer or whatever you want. I haven't really tried the Millennium Strainer too much. I think the only one I tried was um not working correctly <laughs> the p86 millennium strainer and there's not too many out there to buy 
I was thinking of buying one, but they're 50 bucks as opposed to 30. Um, I guess if it works perfectly and doesn't get damaged easily, it's probably good. I don't have a problem with the flip down strainer. I like that too. Um, if I can pick one up for not too much, you know, 50 is a little hot, but I might pay 50 if it's not more than 50. If it's more than 50, eh, that's a bit much. But, um, I was thinking of getting one to try. If it's not too heavy. I recently got one of the indie strainers and it works fine and all that, but God, the thing is pretty heavy. I I think it kind of changes the tone of the drum a little bit. Um, that's a bit nitpicky or whatever, but um, yeah, I don't know if I really like it. I put it on and I took it off. Didn't really like it. Honestly, I think the P85 makes it sound better. And like I said, I think it's because it's lightweight. Anyways, you have yourselves a good one and enjoy your drums.